and welcome to another episode of Manifest Mondays. I'm your host, Jen Mazur, the queen of manifestation. And I'm really excited about today's topic because I'm going to give you five steps to having a consistent practice. And this is huge. So many people come to me and they're wondering how they can stay consistent with all of these practices, whether it's meditation or consistent with moving forward on their goals or manifesting. How do you stay consistent? And it's something that I myself struggle with too. We all do. But if you follow these five steps, it can become a lot easier and simpler to stay on track and stay consistent so that you can experience your goals and visions and actually live them out, okay? So step number one in staying consistent is going to be to make it a game. Make it fun. Don't be so serious about it. When you get so serious and hard on yourself, it's going to be harder to stick to it. So make it some sort of game. If it's a game that you play with yourself or a game that you play with someone else, make it into some kind of fun game or challenge and then you're going to stay consistent because it's fun, right? And this is actually proven science that if you make it a game, you're going to be more consistent with it. So step number two is to feel good about everything that you do do instead of feeling bad about the things that you don't do. Okay, so if you're going to stay consistent, we all fall off the wagon. We all do. Okay, if you decide I'm going to meditate every single day or I'm going to do yoga every single day, there's going to be a day that you don't do it. And that's okay. Instead of harping on the fact that you didn't do it, that you missed one, focus on the fact that you did do it before, that you are doing great. Feel good about each thing that you are adding to your daily routine and to your practice and be okay with when you fall off the wagon. Just get back on choose to get back on. So don't focus on the things that you aren't doing because then you're just going to be in your head feeling bad all the time. Instead, think about something that you're really proud of and feel good about it. Feel good that you are even trying in the first place, okay? Now step number three in terms of staying consistent is to have accountability. If you're accountable to someone, you're more likely to do the thing that you said you were going to do. And accountability comes in so many forms. There's great accountability with a friend or a peer. It could be a partner, someone who you live with. Or you can have accountability by joining a group program online, like my Manifestation Masters program, or hiring a coach or a mentor, or you know, so many different ways to have accountability in your life. I have a girlfriend who has an accountability partner for meditating and they actually will text each other or call each other first thing in the morning to check in to see if they're going to meditate, which is so awesome. So accountability comes in so many different ways and you can choose to do it in a way that works for you. And you can also be accountable to yourself. So you can have a system set up where maybe you have a checklist and you hold yourself accountable by checking it off once you've done it. So be accountable to the things that you said you were going to do and you will see that you're more consistent when you know that you're going to have to report to someone if you did it or not. Chances are you're going to do it because you're accountable. And then the next step, number four, is focus on one thing at a time. So often we get into the state of overwhelm and then you can lose that consistency because you're trying to be everything to everyone and you can't. So what is the most important thing that you want to focus on and be consistent on in your life right now? And it's okay, it may change, because as you begin to manifest things, things change, they're shifting. So what's the one practice that you would like to be consistent with this week? Commit to that one thing and commit to it, one thing at a time. So this week for you, what is it? Anything. Like I said before, it could be that meditation practice. It could be the specific goal that I'm going to take consistent action on every single day this week. Because if you actually take consistent action on it and you commit to it, it's going to happen. It's just that you haven't been taking consistent action. You haven't committed. But focus on one thing at a time. Because if you're going from one thing then to another thing and another thing, you've lost focus and it's hard to actually see one thing through to completion. It doesn't mean you can't do everything on the list. You just do things in order. Do one thing first and then the next thing. 
And then my fifth and final tip for staying consistent is to go with the flow. Things are always shifting and changing. And something may come up in your life that's totally unexpected. You want to go with the flow. You want to ride the wave. Because when you're going with the flow, then nothing's going to stop you. So for example, I had a very consistent yoga practice before I gave birth to my daughter. And then when I did, things shifted. I wasn't practicing on my mat the same that I was, you know, way that I was doing it before. And that was okay. I just surrendered to the moment. So when you go with the flow, you're surrendering to the moment, you're staying present, you're enjoying the thing that actually is in front of you. And then you pick a new practice that you can be consistent at, right? And a new focus. Shift your focus, stay consistent, and then recommit again when it's time to recommit to the new practice that you want to embody. Or maybe it shifts into a new form, right? So perhaps my yoga practice on the mat came into more of a yoga practice with my daughter being a present mom. And now I'm back on my mat more, right? So whatever it is for you, go with the flow, be open to riding the wave, staying present, surrendering to the moment, recommit, and focus on one thing at a time. So I'm so excited to help you stay consistent in your practice. Make sure to use those five tips to help you, and you're going to see that things are really going to shift for you. You'll see results a lot faster because you are consistent and you are committed to that dream of yours. So share in the comments below, have you used any of these five tips before to stay consistent in your practice or do you have another tip that I didn't share about that really helps you stay consistent with your practice? Do you make it a ritual? What do you do? Share in the comments below because we can all use your advice, your experience, your support and let's support each other in staying consistent with our dreams and a challenge if you really want to take it up a notch in the comments I would love for all of you to write down something that you would like us to hold you accountable for and we can all check back in and hold each other accountable for our practices so I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you in the next episode of Manifest Mondays bye everyone